Hey guys, I've uh, I've noticed that the past few cans of 134 that I've bought, when I say a few, probably the past 30 cans that I've bought, has been this reseal, uh, resealable type. These are called self-sealing cans. The older cans were, were the Pierce type. The Pierce type take this kind of uh, can tap, and if you... If you look the way it's designed, you have your your piercing probe pulled back, you screw it onto the can, and then you turn it down, it pierces the can, and then you back it off to let the Freon start. The problem with these, you have to keep the can attached to the can tap, otherwise any refrigerant that has not been used in the can is going to be expelled out uh, into the atmosphere. Uh, so you've got to you got to use the entire can before you can remove the can tap. Well, the EPA uh, ruled that these cans have to have uh, self-sealing uh, 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 ends now. So now you got to have a whole new can tap. The can the regular piercing type can tap doesn't work with these. Um, they do a little bit. If you play with how far down you you run the the piercing tool, it there is a chance that it will push the plunger down enough to get a little bit of freon or 134 refrigerant to come through, but it's a real pain to do that, and I haven't had real good luck doing that. So you end up having to get a different can tap, and and it's a special can tap that uh, that's made for these resealable or these self sealing cans. And so I've got one here that I bought. Comes in a little bag, which I thought was kind of nice. Probably used the bag for, you know, I don't know, something else. But comes with an adapter, depending on what style hose you're going to hook it to. And the hoses that I've got, these, this is an old set of uh, R12 uh I've had these gauges well, drop dropping everything. I've had these gauges for 35 years. This is an old set uh, of TIFF. I couldn't remember if they're Robin Air or TIFF, but yeah, they're TIFF. And uh, they're aluminum manifold. They're they're a set of R12 gauges, but 134, you know, will work also if you put the right ends on them, the right the right fittings. You know, since I don't. I haven't used R12 in anything in years. Uh, we're going to try out this new can tap and see how she works. And this is, they got different styles. The, this was a highly rated one, got it off Amazon. Uh, that's the name of it. And the way this works, when you screw this onto the can, you just got a valve that opens and closes the Freon. I keep calling it Freon. That's just habit. I call all refrigerant Freon. Um, it te the technical name is refrigerant. This is 134A. This is what most cars use, except for the past three or four years. They went to, uh, I can't even remember the name of it now. I haven't, luckily, I haven't had to service any of those cars yet. But uh, So as soon as you screw this onto the can, it's going to, push the plunger and allow Freon to, to start flowing up. Uh, the only thing the valve's for is to kill it, kill the flow of refrigerant to the, to the gauges. So let's give that a shot. I've got it turned off. Okay, it's screwed on. Let me connect it up to my gauge here so that I can see whenever I turn it on if I'm actually getting anything. Okay, I'm going to turn the valve on. And there it is. Works like a champ. So, so now I've got it turned off. So now the nice thing about it, 
But if you unscrew it, there's still refrigerant in this can. This is a, almost a new can. It self-seals, so you can put this back up on the shelf or whatever. Um, of course, you got a check valve in here too, so that even if you unscrewed this from the hose, you're not going to lose anything uh, in the hose. Everything's check valved. But that's the kind of can tap uh, that you've got to use with these self-sealing new cans. And this is Super Tech. Both these are Super Tech. These are from Walmart. Cheapest place in the country you're going to find refrigerant. $4.88 is what $134 has been at Walmart for about the past five or six years. And uh, this is their older can of $134 that has just got the pierced type in. And this is the self sealing, the new style. So I'll put a link if you want to get you one of these. They're pretty cheap. About $11, I think, is what I paid for that. Uh, comes with an adapter depending on what type of hose you're connecting it to. And it comes with this nice velvet bag so that you can, you know, put delicate parts in here if you want to. But, uh, yeah, I was just wanting to kind of show you this new, this new can tap that's required for the self-sealing. And there's different styles. Just make sure when you get you a can tap for these self-sealing cans that it is specifically for self-sealing cans. Not this old style that's just got the piercing probe that pierces the can. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. Uh, you know what? While I'm here, I'm also going to show you. I went ahead and picked up uh, the, the fittings for the actual hooking it to the car. And the reason, I bought these years ago, I forget what brand they are, they're, uh, they were a nice brand, they're highly rated, the, the nice thing about them, you just, you just pushed them on and they, they self-snapped on, you didn't have to pull back on the collar to get them to, to snap on. Uh, there, you, you'll notice there is no valve here to, to depress the plunger, they automatically depress the plungers, uh, or the straighter valve, whatever you snap them onto the car. Of course you got, you know, you got the low side and the high side, they're both similar, but they're slightly different. I don't know if you can see the, the size difference. You got one that's a little bit bigger than the other. The problem is that I've had this, the, the high side uh, connection. Some cars it works great. Some cars I haven't even been able to get it to fit on. And other cars it'll snap on and everything, but it, it'll leak. So I'm swapping those out too. with a couple of these and this was the older style that I, I already had a style like this and I don't know what happened to them so I bought I bought another set and I've already tried these this snaps right on the, the only thing about it that that would be nice is if this was already pulled back and when you snapped it on it snapped on the way these the way these are and I don't know if you if that if I'm making any sense but like if this was your connection and you went to push these on, you don't have to pull back on this. If you notice, it's already it's already pulled back in the release position. When it's snapped on, then the collar snaps forward, and it's it's secure or supposed to be. Um, and the low side, uh, or the yeah, the low side always worked. I'd hook it up to the low side and snap on everything I ever tried it on. So I did usually service a car without even knowing what the high side was 90 percent of the cars the high side would snap on and i was able to get my high side reading but when you're trying to troubleshoot a system you need your high side and these and i got these off amazon years ago and they were expensive and they were highly rated and they were i forget what brand they were but they were a, a good name brand which is why i bought them and as it turns out there's something about it that on some cars it just it's not happy with but I bought these, and I'll put a link to these. Uh, I've already tried these. Uh, I've tried them one time, and what I tried them on was my son's Tacoma that did have a problem. His is one of the cars that the, low, the high side will snap on, but it leaks. It leaks, and it doesn't give you the pressure. It, it, if you push down farther, you get pressure, and you're able to read the high side, but as soon as you release it, it, po it pops up just a little bit and uh, doesn't work. I've already snapped the, the, the high side on, 
snapped it onto the Tacoma. Works works great. And to be honest, I do kind of prefer this style with the valves. I like to be able to shut it off whenever I need to and to open them up. Whoops. But anyway, uh, I'll put a link to those too. But this video is mainly about the, the new style can tap that you've got to have uh, for the self-selling Freon cans or refrigerant cans. And uh, this, this one here seems to work great. So that's about it. Uh, you guys take care. We'll see you in the next one.